They have a problem figuring out how to deal with the time delay in their communication system. And how are they going to solve it when they send people in space? Back in May. So um, this is a little different though. I think last time y'all were using just basic what we already know to deal yes. with the time delay. And this time you're trying out some new tools and procedures, right? Absolutely. Okay, how's it going? It's going well. Uh, it's like you talked about before, the tools we were using last time were the same 20th century tools. We've been using since the days of Mercury. So, so for your information, not much has changed since the days of Mercury. They're 50 years old. It's like called the walkie-talkie. 50 walkie -talkie. years old. Yeah, you key the mic and you say something and you let go of the mic and the person keys the mic on the other end and they talk to you. And, and it may work well if you are doing something fairly simple and you're only a few hundred miles away from the Earth. Mm -hmm. um, but the distances we're simulating right now, uh, it doesn't work as well. So. So it might work very well if you're only a few hundred miles from Earth. But it might not work as well for other distances. Well, Mr. President had no, absolutely no problem with talking to the, um, to the astronauts on the moon. Had very little time delay. Uh, Neil and Buzz. Uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. That would be an honor. All right, go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the... By telephone? <laughs> He is talking to them by telephone. What telephone are you using, Mr. President, that you can reach astronauts in the, on the moon, which is uh, extremely far distance, and now you have trouble with that? Now, you could just use a telephone. And this certainly has to be the most free American. This has to be the proudest day of our lives. And the proudest day of all lives. For people all over the world, I am sure they too join with the in recognizing what an immense feat this is. What an immense defeat this is. Because of what you have done. Because of what you have done and your deception that you have put people through. The heavens have become a part of man's world. The heavens have now been completely distorted and we are now going to perpetuate this lie for entire humanity for the rest of your life or at least for the time being that we are still uh, or for the time being that you allow us to indoctrinate you. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility and as you talk to us from your Hollywood stage, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. It inspires us to bring more wars and destruction to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man. For one priceless, priceless lie in the whole history of man. All the people on this earth are truly one. All the people on this earth are truly one. Well, that's actually one truth. <laughs> it's not a lie. One in their pride in what you have done. And then he has to, again, of course, completely distort it and uh, tell, perpetuate his lie again. One, so we are not one as in one, no. But we are one in their pride of what lie you have told humanity. And the only reason we believe that lie is we do not research anything. And one in our prayers that you will return safely to Earth. And one in our prayers to know that you are safely on Earth. Yeah, you might think, well, there. what do you mean? There is a delay, yes. But you know what's funny to me? 
there is like a uh, 11 seconds delay or 12 i don't know when they're talking to iss that fake station with the <laughs> with the primed hair and all the harnesses and green screens but somehow when they're talking to the moon there's only seven seconds delay that's very funny to me and when they're talking to the control center there's like nearly no delay at all that's funny so if you have an explanation for this and you are a moon landing believer Please give me a reaction so I can take my words back and maybe delete this video. Can you explain to me why why do they have to uh, work on communication systems when they have perfectly great telephones which which can call to the moon directly? Well, that's very interesting indeed.